So this is one of the top 10 pieces of legislation that I've done, and every piece of legislation that I've done that equates to that has had a direct impact on the lives of children. Uh, and that, that to me has always been the most important thing is to take legislation that constituents bring up to me that say this will make a difference for us. And that's, that's why um, when Holly and I were chatting, um, I got to tell her a little bit about um, a situation that had happened in my own family that I knew what she was going through, how hard it is um, to not be able to protect your children and so this this for me uh, rose to that level of needing to get all the way through uh, the General Assembly and it it was vital for me I wanted to give Holly a little bit of relief I find her inspirational she says she's not she says that she um, has not done enough but I know that she goes around to skateboard shops around the area and in Rhode Island and says, do you know uh, that your, uh, your patrons should be offered skateboard helmets, not any other kind of helmets, but skateboard helmets. Do you know uh, that my son passed away because he didn't have the proper safety gear on? And she has been to dozens of skateboard shops to pass the message along. I felt it was the state's obligation to uh, pass that word along in a, in a fashion. We're hoping to hold um, helmet giveaways over, uh, you know, through, throughout the next few years on a yearly basis to sort of bring it out so that people don't forget about it, so that they understand that it's a uh, um, important and it, they understand that it has real consequences. Kathy helped make my miracle happen. And that's to make sure that every child is at least told that they have to wear a helmet from the moment of purchase, that that parent is aware. And so the parents that grew up without helmets know. When it came a law, actually before it came a law, Kathy asked me to do a testimony. And three or four of the committee men followed me out afterwards and were very moved. One even had his son in the hospital the previous year with a similar accident, but his son survived. And he came out and they said to me, we're gonna help you make this happen. And I asked, can it be named Connor's Law? And they said, yeah. So when I see them, they're like, we're gonna get that Connor with one end, that law passed. And I think it was that we weren't really passing a law to pass a law, like a speed limit law or a, a town line moving from here to there. It was a law that impacts moms and dads and aunts and uncles and little sisters and grandmas and grandpas because bikes and trike bikes and scooters anything with wheels can move underneath you in seconds and if you hit where connor hit the back of his head right here and that helmet's covering that your son gets to wake up the next morning where mine didn't so when that law passed I would say I finally had tears that weren't immersed in sorrow. They were immersed in something that was hopeful for the first time since my son left me. It's hope that there will never be another press conference about a mom that lost her son because he wasn't safe that day. I think that a simple law that's now in place thanks to the efforts of uh, Senator Austin and, and, and Holly uh, is going to potentially save lives. It's an honor for us to be here uh, because, for me, Pequot, younger Pequot cousins went to school with, with, with Connor, uh, being a legend resident. And we have young skateboarders in both of our nations. And this could be any one of us standing here today. And so uh, when, when Senator Austin reached out to us to participate, it didn't even take two seconds to say yes and that we wanted to be a part of this and help to give back uh, to this incredible cause.